Hi everyone, welcome to the second section of this video. We're going to look at how to configure and set up FTP server in Linux. We're going to look at the step-by-step -step process, all right? And if you're writing the um, average CSA8 examination or you're writing the LSCS examination, you can just scroll down to the end of this website and come and click here to see the practice questions answered, all right? So um, for the LFCS and the SUSE Linux, we're going to be updating the website um, for the practice questions soon. All right. So the first step is to install the um, FTP server, which is the VSFTPD. Now that the installation is complete, the next thing we would do is to edit the um, VSTPD configuration file. But before we do that, and it's always advisable to take the backup of the file, all right? We can back this up. I'll just call this original. All right, so now that we've backed it up, let's edit um, the configuration file. So um, in this configuration file, well, we're going to look for the um, for the parameter anonymous enable. All right, so because we're configuring for anonymous users, just as we've said in the previous video, so this is anonymous enable. So this means that um, you can either do two things there. You can either comment this out or you change this to yes. All right. So we're just going to change this to yes to allow anonymous download. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly explain some other configuration files here. So if you look at this um, other file, local enable, this implies that users will be able to access or download files from their own directory. All right, so this is uh, for uh, most, especially for um, verified users. All right, but if SLinux is enabled, all right, and it, if it is in enforcing mode, um, you need to turn the Boolean on for this um, feature, okay? So um, the next parameter I want to show to you is the right enable equals yes. So this implies that the, the verified users in the etc password file will, will be able to write in their directories, right? And if the value is set to no, then they won't be able to write in their directories. And another important um, file I want to show to you is this one, anon upload enable equals yes. So this implies that anonymous users will be able to upload files to the FTP server. All right. So if you um if you comment this out, then this function will be enabled. All right. So now that we've um, enabled um, um, on this server for anonymous users here, right? So let's save the file. Okay, now we can start the service. Let's verify. All right, so we can see that the service is running. All right, you might want to enable the service too, if you wish to enable it. Oops, sorry about that, enable. Okay, now that we have the service enabled, um, we can now use any FTP client utility to connect to the FTP server. Um, if you're in the same network, you can also use any browser to connect to the FTP server. So for example, um, let me try and copy some files. Let me copy the FS tab file to the document root. So in this, this is a path where the FTP servers would be ac accessed. Let's check the um, var FTP. All right, so I have the FS tab file here. So I can also put my files in 
pub and you know files can be accessed here too so now that we have some um files in the var ftp directory so let's um connect to this ftp server usually um um i can i can use the lftp client so let's just install the lftp client so we have the lftp client installed so i can now connect to the lftp server so i can use local host or i use the ip of the server all right so i'm connected then i can do a list so you can see that i can ac access the fs tab file all right then i can also cut the file if i wish so this is a way um, a way i can use a client utility to access the um, ftp server you can also use the wget utility or the call utility so depending on what client um the ftp client you want to use all right so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye for now